Valve lapping? Something doesn't sound right with that term. Stick around and find out what it is. I'm almost done messing around with this head. This is actually the other one. The one I'm gonna use, I already have the springs removed, I have the valves removed. Now what I need to do is something called valve lapping. It's a weird term, but basically what its purpose is to make sure the valves seat perfectly within the valve cylinder. This means taking these weird suction cup things, sticking the valve on there, putting some grinding compound between the valve cylinder and the valve, rotating it around, and using coarse and then fine. And then that's gonna help it seat really well. Much better than it would if I didn't do this at all. And actually this is something you're gonna to wanna to do even if you have new valves. I'm using the old ones, I took them off, cleaned them up, I'll still need to use the valve lapping technique. We're getting closer and closer to getting this engine painted and I'm really excited about that. I keep promising that, but I'm gonna to get to it, I promise. But let's, let's get into this right now.
have the head all cleaned up, the valves all cleaned up, and everything buttoned back up. This head is ready to go back on that engine. <laughs> it's a really important step and I'm excited about it. I know, I know all of you want to see this engine painted. <laughs> and I, I do too. I'm really excited about getting that painted. Right now it's a little too cold in the garage to have that happen. But soon, soon, because we're almost at that stage. So in this video you saw a few things. One, the lapping tool I was using, it's complete garbage. I bought it at an auto parts store near where I live and it it just wouldn't suction, it wouldn't spin, it was just garbage. I didn't pay very much for it, like six bucks or something like that. So as you saw in the video, what I used instead is this bolt extraction tool. Some of you subscribers may remember this tool from my how to eliminate D-cell pop video. I use this tool to extract exhaust studs and it works pretty well for the most part if the exhaust studs aren't too brittle or fragile or really old. But this tool also worked really well for lapping. I thought about using my drill, but the chuck on it only has three points of contact and I was worried about damaging the valve stem. This actually has more points of contact than just the three that my chuck does on my drill. So I thought this would be a great tool and it worked really, really well. If you're interested in buying this tool, I have a link in the description for it. The other thing is this valve spring compressor tool. It worked. You saw me use it pretty well, but I kind of needed more than two hands to make it work really well. But it, it did the trick. It's cheap and it really works well. I have a link in the description for this as well, but I also put some links in there for some better ones, some more expensive ones, if you want to make your world a little easier. You really want to be able to compress those springs more evenly than this tool does. But this tool really does the trick if you need to do it quick and dirty. If you found this video entertaining at all, go ahead and click on the like button. And if you're enjoying the journey I'm on building this cafe racer, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you know when more videos are uploaded. I'm having a lot of fun with this, and if you're enjoying it, join me on this journey. Thanks for watching this one, everybody. Ride safe out there, be kind, and keep the wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video.